Hey, what's up, guys? It's Regan here, and bringing you. It's been a long since I posted my tutorial, my last tutorial. It's been one week or a week and a half, so yeah, anyways, posting this tutorial is the 3D motion tracking and After Effects. It's the one I did in the Euro 2012, so let's get started. It's gonna be quick, I think, if you understand. What we're gonna do, what we need the most is a plugin called Camera Tracker 1.0. You can find it, it's made by the Foundry, you can find it on YouTube, just type in Camera Tracker 1.0 and download it. What to do is place it on your text, and we're gonna set this to part because my computer sucks. We're gonna click on Trace, like Bojo, Track Feature, Solve Camera, Create Scene. So what we're gonna do is click on Track Features, and see the animation. Yeah, I'll be back to you guys when this is done. So as you see here guys, it's done, we got some X's going on there, it's like both. So what you gotta do is click on solve camera, this ends very very fast, depends on your RAM, I'm <coughs> sorry for my voice, I'm sick as usual, so we so see we got some red and green axes, so what you gotta do is create scene, and it gives us uh, a camera and a null object. Now, where this null object is, where we want the text to be. So let's say, let's say we want the text to be here. We're gonna click on the X ones and now hold Control and click on it again. Ground plane. I'm gonna see ground plane set to origin. And we see that the null object has moved over to the X. Now we gotta type in our text. So, yeah. And make this text a 3D layer. And pick it, pick with it to the camera now. And you can just easily scoop it out, move it, do whatever you want with it, you know? And here we got some nice 3D text going. Gonna move it up like this a little bit. So, yeah, you can also rotate it. But I don't want to. Now for the 3D part. If you click the on. <coughs> sorry. You may, uh, first of all, if you want to make it 3D, you must feel comfortable with the place you placed it in. Now, what you're gonna do, if you click on P for position, we see that the Z axis is zero. That's good. If it's more than zero, it's okay. I've got a tool right now. What you're gonna do is duplicate your um, text. I duplicate it six times always, so it's the best. As I told you, the Z, the Z position is zero. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna ascend. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be from from small to big. So this is zero, this is one, this is gonna be two, and this one's gonna be three, this one's gonna be four, and this one's gonna be uh, five. Yeah, now if you take a look, you see we got um, see this for us? some fake 3D text going. You can add glow if you want. I'm gonna add some glow, maybe. And yeah, you can add some motion blur to the text. Now we can add some glow. And just copy and paste the glow over there. So we got some glow. You can decrease the threshold or anything you want, but I'm doing this. So okay. Oh, taking forever. Yeah, we see here so the 3D text is going. Pretty damn track, yo. So yeah, we got the 3D text. We got some glow on it, and we got the motion track. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope my tutorials like you like it and. Peace out, guys.